£1,396,403. Sound good, doesn't it, right? That's exactly how much you could have if you invested just £100 a week for the next 40 years with an interest rate of 8%. So in today's video, I'm going to be sharing with you my step-by-step -step plan on how you can achieve it. What's up, guys, and welcome back for another video. If it's your first time here, my name is Christos. I am an entrepreneur and investor from the UK that is on a mission to help people invest and manage their money better to achieve a healthier financial future. So if that is something you are interested in, consider subscribing. All right, so let's jump into it. £100 a week invested for the next 40 years. Now, to some people, £100 may not seem like it's that much. And if that is you, don't be afraid to up it a little bit. But to some, depending on their situation, the thought of putting £400 a month in just for investments can be quite a daunting number. So that's where we're going to start today. And that is with step number one, and that is making sure you have £100 a week to invest in the first place. Now, whilst I can't speak for everyone because everyone's situations are different, I do have some quick actionable things that you can do straight away to put you on the right path to getting towards that £100 a month figure. And the first thing that you can do is review your spending. I can almost guarantee you that if you have never done this exercise before, you can easily trim off an extra £50 a week just by making some small changes. Whether that's the multiple streaming platforms that you're signed up to, the takeaway you have every single Saturday night, or maybe just the extra nibbles you pick up from the grocery store each way, cutting off just a few of these can really help you free up some extra money. Now, of course, I know it's a sacrifice and I know it's not ideal and everyone deserves to live a little bit in life, but no one said this is gonna be easy and these are just some of the sacrifices that you're going to have to make. Now, once you have done that, you should have easily freed up some extra funds in your account. However, if you're still not quite hitting that 100 pound a week mark, the next thing you should probably look at is getting a side hustle. One thing I'm not saying here is that you need a second job or any anything like that, simply just something that you could do maybe a couple of hours extra a week to bring in you that extra cash to invest. The best thing about side hustles is that there are actually so many that you can actually choose from. For one, you could do possibly food delivery driving for a couple of nights a week. You could resell unwanted things on eBay, or you could just start a YouTube channel like me. The list goes on so much, in fact, that I actually have a dedicated playlist to side hustles on my YouTube channel, so I'll make sure to leave that in the description below. Okay, so by now, you should have your £100 a week ready to invest. The next thing that you need to make sure that you have is an emergency fund. And basically all an emergency fund is is a set amount aside that you can access at any time in case anything bad happens. Basically this could be your car breaking down, maybe you need to pay for repairs on your house, maybe your boiler's broken, or potentially you could even lose your job. It's basically going to be there for paying for anything you are not really expecting to come out without having to dip into the investment pot we're about to build. In terms of how much you should have in your emergency fund, I really suggest having five months worth of your monthly outgoings set aside. However, if you have managed to build multiple streams of income, maybe you've started a few side hustles and you've diversified your earnings, I would say going down as low as three is more than fine. All right, so step number three is when we can really start to put our money to work. And the first thing that I recommend anybody doing is opening up a stocks and shares ISA. This is basically an account that you can set up that allows you to invest up to £20,000 every single year and never have to pay any tax on any of the capital gains that you make from it. And basically with us investing £100 a week, which is £5,200 a year, we're never going to get anywhere close to that limit. In terms of where you should be looking to open up one of these, I would highly suggest taking a look at free trade for your stocks and shares ISA. This is basically a really easy app to use for beginners. And what's best about it is that there are zero commission fees when you want to make an investment, unlike traditional investment platforms, we can actually pay up to £12 a transaction, which of course takes a large chunk out of that £100 a week investing budget that we have set aside. One thing I will do is leave a link below in the description about the official rules about opening ICES within the UK. This is coming straight from the UK government website and I will also leave a link to free trade where if you sign up, you will actually get a free trade in a company just for signing up and depositing £1 onto the platform. All right, so the next step is where we're actually going to be investing 
saving our money. And that is step number four. And basically all I'm saying what you should do is take 50% of that 100 pound a week. So 50 pounds every single week and invest it into a low cost index fund. Now, for those that are completely new to investing, hearing the word index fund or maybe just investing in general may sound quite daunting, but it's really not. Basically, when you invest into something like an index fund, what you are doing is investing into a large collection of companies instead of just one. This has much less risk than buying individual stocks, but in return, the rewards are not quite as exciting, but that's not the point with this one. We want to be building a solid base here, and this is a great place to start. I do once again have a video explaining exactly what index funds are, a little bit more in depth than I just have there, which I will leave in the description down below. But just from my own personal point of view, the two index funds that I invest into is one with the tracker name VUSA, and this basically allows me to invest into every single one of the top 500 companies in America. And then the second one I invest into is one with the tracker name VMID, which allows me to invest into the 101st to 350th biggest companies on the London Stock Exchange. This way I have coverage of over 750 companies across the entire world, basically just by investing into two different products. This of course keeps me extremely diversified and my risk extremely low compared to just buying an individual stock. Now, if you wanted to find both of these index funds alongside the many others once again, you can go ahead and find those on the free trade app and pretty much any other investing platform. All right, so now we've got a really good solid foundation in place. I feel like we're now in the place to take a few more risks, and this is where I would look into investing into individual stocks. I would take 25% of that 100 pounds every single week, so 25 pounds, and start researching into some companies that you know and use on a daily basis. For example, when I first started getting into investing, the first ever company I invested into at the time was Apple. This is simply because I knew about their business, I absolutely loved their product, and like I mentioned, I use their products every single day and I knew that this company was still going to be around in 10 years from now. Now, of course, I fully recommend that any company that you invest into, you should be doing some kind of research into. But when you're first starting out, this is something you're going to have to learn how to do. Once again, I do have a video which shows my full research that I take on every single company I personally invest into. And once again, I will leave a link to that in the description down below. But yeah, as a whole, you want to be looking into well-established companies that you understand and you are interested in. Facebook, Coca-Cola, Google, Microsoft, you get the point. Obviously try to do as much research as you can, but the main thing is to pick solid companies that you are interested in, big companies that you know are gonna be around for a long time and products that you use on a daily basis. All right, so that's step number five out of the way and by now we should have really taken some solid steps to building long-term wealth. What we now have left in the kitty is 25 pounds a week for step number six and there's two options that you can do with this. Number one, you could put it straight back into either option number four or five with the individual stocks and index funds or what you could also do is start investing into yourself and you can do this in many different ways. Number one is of course education. I cannot tell you how important this can be for future investments down the line. For example, I wouldn't know anything I'm talking about in this video if I wouldn't have read the books like Rich Dad, Poor Dad by Robert Kiyosaki, Tony Robbins, Unshakable, or The Intelligent Investor. These are just small investments that I have made into myself over the past couple of years that have paid off massively in an indirective type of way. The second way you can invest in yourself is by actually investing into starting a business. Starting a business for me has been one of the most rewarding things I have personally ever done. I have now managed to build multiple streams of income, which has then in turn allowed me to eventually invest a lot more than the hundred pound a month that I'm talking about in this video over the past couple of years, and has then allowed me to get into other investments like property rentals and investing into private businesses. But nonetheless, choosing to invest in yourself is such a great opportunity. But if you're happy just putting the rest into previous investments, then that is still classed as investing into yourself in my opinion. All right, so just to summarize, step number one, manage your finances to make 100 
500 pound a week available to invest in the first place. Step number two is to build an emergency fund. Step number three is to open a tax-free stocks and shares ISA. Step number four is to invest 50% of your money into a low-cost index fund or multiple low-cost index funds. Step number five is to then invest 25% into individual stocks and shares. And then finally, step number six is to take that remaining 25% and invest into yourself or maybe start a business. And that is pretty much what I do every single month. And I personally believe that following these steps will put you on the right path to financial freedom and hopefully within 40 years, have you that 1.3 million pounds in your bank account. Other than that, guys, if you did get any value from this video, I would really appreciate it if you left it a like. It really does help this video out with the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe to the channel if you haven't already, and I will catch you in the next video. Take care.